Hi everyone, I'm Javi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Move One by Move AI, which is an AI motion capture tool that allows you to take video and transform it into animation data that we can use with the character device inside UEFN. It's really easy to use, so without further ado, let me show you how to do it. All right, so here we are in Move AI webpage. Here you can see a little bit, you know, like showcase of the work they do. They have various different tools for AI motion capture using video. They have Move Live that allows you to capture, you know, like motion live. Move Pro, which is very, very good, but it requires different cameras to work. And also Move One, which the only thing it requires is just a single camera or a single video. So Move One, it's a product that we are going to be using in this video. You can use Move One in two different ways. One, if you're an iOS user, if you have an iPhone, for example, you can download the Move AI app and use the app. And if you don't have an iOS device, then don't worry. Move One also works in web, so you can use it just by uploading a video. I will be showing you how to use the iOS app, but also how to use the web app. So if you don't have an iOS device, then you can go over here on this timestamp and I will show you how to use the web version of Move One. All right, so first, if you have an iPhone, then let's go to the App Store and download the Move AI app. Once you have it downloaded, then just open the app and sign up. Once you sign up, you will be getting 30 credits for free, which is 30 seconds of video to motion capture. Okay, so once you sign in, you will see your camera. Over here, you can change between the front camera and the back camera. And on this wheel, you can select if you want to record a 10 second video, 20 second video, or 30 second video. For this video, I will be recording a 10 second video. Make sure to place your camera in a place that it's completely static. In my case, I set up my phone on a tripod just so I have way more control over the shot that I want. Ideally, you will want to be in a space where you can move, in a space where you are very well lit and in contrast to your surroundings. Make sure that the area you capture captures your whole body and that you can move around freely without going outside of the shot. Once you have your camera set up, the only thing you need to do is press the circle in the middle to start recording. You will see a countdown starting and an A pose guide that you need to follow before you start the action that you want to record. After the countdown ends, then you just need to act out the animation that you want. And in our case, after the 10 seconds, the shot will automatically end. If you're not happy with the result, you can press retake and capture another video or if you're happy with the result then you can press upload after that the video will get uploaded and you will receive a message saying that the video has been successfully uploaded after you see this message you can click on finish and then you just need to wait for the video to process after your video has finished processing you can click here to access all the video uploads and when you click on the video, it will show a preview of the animation result and also the video that you uploaded. Now, what you need to do is just click on share and download an FBX. Now you need to take that FBX file into your computer. And that FBX file is the file that we will be uploading into UEFN. But before moving to UEFN, let me show you how you can do all of this process from the web version of Move One. Now, if we go back to the Move AI web page, we can go over here where it says product, and here on Move One, we can click here where it says try for free. Here, you will need to sign in or sign up, and after you sign up or sign in, you will be getting to this page right here. And you can see that we have zero credits used of the 30 credits that we have available. So now, what we need is just a video that we can upload. For this tutorial, I will be using my phone, which is an iPhone 12. But if you have an Android device or a different camera, you can just record a video following the same instructions that we followed before. So in my case, for example, with my phone on the tripod, I'm just going to open up the camera app, the regular camera app. Make sure that you place your camera in a place where it's completely static. Also, make sure that you have a clean space for you to be on, that you have space to move around a little bit, move your hands, 
that the place is well lit and that you have a good contrast between yourself and your environment and the background. Once you're happy with the camera placement, make sure to place yourself in a place where your whole body is seen in the shot and stand in an A pose position for a couple of seconds. After this, then just start performing the capture that you want to do or the animation that you want. Remember that Move One will give you 30 credits for free, so make sure that the capture you do is no longer than 10 or 15 seconds, just so you have more credits to use afterwards. Once you're done with your performance, then just stop the video. We need to cut the start of the video and the end of the video. You can probably do this straight in your phone if the phone allows you to edit video. Or if not, you can just take the video into an editing software that allows you to cut the start and end of the video. So for the start of the video, you want the video to start where you are in that A pose. Just leave half a second or one second of you standing on that A pose. And for the end of the video, you want the video to end where you want your animation to end. So all of that, you walking towards the camera and stopping, you know, like the video, you don't need that. You just need the end of where you want the animation to end. After you have your video cut, then you can upload that video to your computer. I'm going to rename this video to move one, two, just so I know that this is the second animation that I do, this animation that I'm going to be doing on the web version. And now going back to the web, I'm just going to click on upload. Make sure that your video is in mp4.avi or .mov format. Look for the video and just upload it. After the upload is done, you will get the upload succeeded message. And now you just need to wait until the video is finished processing. Once the video is finished processing, you can look over here on recent takes or go to the gallery as well and just click on the video that you uploaded and you will see that you can see an output preview to kind of see how the animation looks. And you can also check all of the different formats in which you can download that 3D motion. In our case, for us to use it in UEFN, we're going to be downloading the FBX. So go over FBX, click, and download the FBX file in, in a folder. I'm going to call this move one nm 2 just so we know this is the animation that we downloaded from the web version of move one. And over here, this FBX is the FBX that I got from the app version of move one, and I'm going to rename it to move one and M1, just so we know which animation is which. Now that we have our FBX files, we can move to UEFN. So here we are in UEFN. I created this new project for this tutorial. Over here in the content browser, I'm going to be creating a new folder and call this move one. And over here, I'm going to be uploading the move one and M1, which is the one that we captured on the app. So over here, I'm going to drag and drop here. Here, I want to make sure that imports the skeletal mesh, import mesh, that we have no skeleton selected here. And over here, we want to make sure that import animations is ticked. It's true. Now we can click on import all. We can close this message log. And now here we will see, well, all of the materials. We will see the skeletal mesh from move one. And here we can see the animation that we just uploaded. Now for the second animation, since we already have the skeletal mesh from move one, I can just drag and drop this second animation, the one that we downloaded from the web version. I can drag and drop here. And over here, you would see that it recognizes the move one skeleton that we already have. So we don't need to import mesh over here. We just need to select the move one skeleton over here and click import all. We can close this message log and here we see the second animation. 
Now, in order for us to use these animations with the character device, we need to retarget these animations. If you want to learn more about animations with the character device inside UEFN, I have a full video dedicated to it where we use different Mixamo animations to animate a character device. So you can check out the video here or in the description below. So for us to retarget these animations, we just need to pick any of these. So let's go for the first one. Right click, retarget animations. Over here, we make sure that the source skeletal mesh is the move one skeletal mesh. And for target skeletal mesh, we want to select M medium base, which is the skeletal mesh of the character device. And over here, we can select these two animations using shift or control. And now we can click here on export animations. I'm going to select the move one folder. And as a prefix, I'm going to add RT underscore just so we know that these are the retargeted versions of those animations. Click on export, here export again. And now we have retargeted versions of the animations that we uploaded from move one. Now let me go back here to the main folder and I'm going to create a folder called cinematics. And over here I'm going to create a new level sequence. So I'm calling this LS move one. I'm going to open up the level sequence and over here I'm going to add a character device so go to Fortnite character device and just drag this character device over here so if we go back to the level sequence we can add this character device to the level sequence um, let's change here for let's go with aura and now that we have the skin we want selected we can click here animation and we see this retargeted versions let's go with the first one see how it looks i'm going to ooh, sorry i'm going to put this so we can see the whole cinematic so as you can see the result is pretty good pretty good and all you needed was video so now i'm going to duplicate this character and pick another one let's go with fish stick drag and drop this and we're going to check the other animation so here's the retargeted version for the second animation and let's see how it looks <laughs> so yeah both animations are working quite good actually as you can see the tool is super easy to use so you can definitely use this to make some cinematics so now, just to see this in action, I'm going to set up a quick cinematic and show you how it looks. <laughs> oh, no. oh. And that's it. You just learned how to use Move One to animate the character device inside UEFN. If you're interested about this AI motion capture tools, I have another video on Quick Magic, which is another AI motion capture tool that you can use to animate the character device inside UEFN. You can check the tutorial in my channel. And if you want to learn more about how to create cinematics inside UEFN, then you can check out all of my other tutorials. I have a bunch of videos dedicated to teaching you how to create cinematics inside UEFN. So if you want to learn more, then go check it out. If you like this video, then a like and subscribe will be highly appreciated. And if you're working on cinematics and you want to share it with a lot of people that also enjoy doing cinematics, then you can join my Discord server and share there. I would love to see what you do with Move One, with all of the other tools that UEFN has for cinematic creation. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.